Guyana is often referred to as the land of giants. With their giant landscapes, giant plants and animals, and giant hearts, this title is more than fitting. There's one giant in particular that really stands out among the rest. Giant otters are the biggest, the baddest, the loudest, and the most social of all the world's otter species. They live in large family groups and they develop these really tight social bonds that can last a lifetime. They play together, they eat together, and they stick together to survive. And I guess when it comes right down to it, they're really not all that much different from us. Giant otters are facing some giant threats. Habitat loss to the human development, mining and agriculture, and the wildlife trade are pushing the species closer to extinction. The time to act is now. Hi, my name is Christina Ward, founder of Save the Giants. This project is about bringing people together to protect and celebrate Guyana's wildlife. Our focal species is the iconic giant otter. In the beginning of this project, otter conservation for me, um, it was just all about the individual animal. And all I wanted to do was get to Guyana and see these guys in the wild. When I traveled to Guyana in 2016, we were doing what you call a rapid population survey count on the giant otters. And you're on a boat and you're looking for otters and you see an otter, you take a million pictures of its neck patch as it's coming up out of the water. You try to count how many are in a group. And one night I was, I was looking through the photos of these otters and I was thinking to myself like, what are we doing with this project that is going to make a lasting impact on otter conservation? And I'm looking at these young people in the village and they're all so talented and hungry for opportunities just to have a skill set that they can take and have a job and make money, you know, just a sense of purpose really for these guys. And so it was then that it hit me that conservation isn't about the animals anymore. Uh, it's really about the people. So our mission at Save the Giants is to work with these guys in these communities, bring them together, train them, teach them the skills that they need to know to conduct these surveys on their own so we can employ them, pay them to do the work that we can't do year-round. So hopefully during this process, we will empower the local Guyanese to really take control of their natural resources and make the decisions that they want to make on how their land is going to be managed. Behind every Save the Giants success story is a team of devoted and passionate individuals who pour every ounce of who they are into making a difference. We are especially grateful to our guys in the field who dedicate their time on a year-round basis to keep this project alive and growing. Moving forward, we are really going to focus on the young people in the villages and continue to give them the resources and experience needed to nurture their love for the natural world. So Save the Giants needs your help. An effort of this magnitude takes a tremendous amount of resources. If you'd like to help or join us, please visit savethegiants.org and follow us on Facebook and Instagram. Thank you.